I'm going to show you how to fix a Delaunay dehumidifier system. Um, this one stopped working and we went through the steps of diagnosing the compressor and the capacitor and the transformer and all that was fine but the broken or, or the what en ended up being was that this relay was not clicking and in order to fix that so relays mechanical relays are usually pretty reliable however they can corrode on the inside and that will cause them to not be able to move the first thing that you'll want to do is tap the relay with the end of a screwdriver or something that you can get in there. This will help to dislodge the moving part of the relay. Uh, second, you'll want to be able to apply the 12 volts to the relay coil and get it to click um, independent of whatever the circuit's doing. That way you know that the relay's working. So, uh, on this specific board, it, and the coils, or the coil of the relay, is well marked with that little box, that little white box on the silk screen. Uh, but you can also trace back the lines. Um, this pin is the positive end of the coil and because it comes from the anode of the rectifier pack and that means that this one's negative. Now a, a relay coil of course is not pull, um, it's a non-polar, it doesn't matter which way you apply voltage but since the relay is in the circuit board with the rest of the components I don't want to put backwards voltage on it and damage something else. So I'll just apply voltage in the same way that the circuit board would normally do it. And right now I have my meter connected measuring the voltage. But if I just put the camera on here, let's hook up red to red. And whenever we touch these together, it should energize that coil. So the coil's working. Um, if the first time you do that, you don't hear anything, I'm assuming that you have 12 volts and you've connected to the right pins, well, then that means you, the relay is not working. Uh, you might want to tap it a couple more times and just keep clicking it and or keep kind of zapping it until you hear it click. Now, when you're working on the board testing the relay you see that I have it unplugged um, I just want to show you where you want to be cautious of voltage if you were to do anything with it live uh, the only place on this board that is connected to hot is this connector here with the red wires um, and that's because the blue and the brown are uh, neutral and hot See, that's the hot that feeds the compressor relay. Anyway, um, this connection here and then all the way down to that white box is the 120 volt hot region into the primary of the transformer and then everything from the white wires to the rest of the board is all uh, 12 or 15 volt uh, safe to touch, safe to um, poke around. Though if you short something, it would still spark a lot, but it wouldn't be able to harm you. Uh, so just make sure that if you are going to be testing any of the components like the voltage regulator or something uh, stay clear from the hot side also if you're gonna um, take the cover off the capacitor to test it discharge that first if you leave the cover on 
um, you'll be safe. Um, but definitely, if you take the cover off, make sure you discharge it. Always treat these capacitors like they could kill you, uh, since any of them of this size potentially could. Even if you think you know something about how it's used in the circuit that makes it safer, still treat it like it's dangerous and you'll be safe. I'm gonna turn it on and show you that everything is working. So first the computer turns on uh, and it's not on yet, we have to start it. Everything kind of started at once there. The fan turned on but the compressor is also running, or I'm pretty sure it's running. I hooked up my meter to the relay. So there's 11 volts across the relay coil. Um, there's, that means that the relay is engaged. I'm using this infrared thermal camera um, to verify the system. Here you're seeing this chain of red that's these copper loops, and they're 80 degrees, and but right beside it, these loops are cold. They're like 50 degrees. So there you see the temperature difference created by the compressor. You can also look at the compressor, um, which is that huge red mass there, and probably see that climb in temperature just a little bit. Um, and the fan is also pretty warm. Um, I, if you run it, if you run this motor without the swirl cage assembly on there, the motor will get hot because it was designed to run with a fan cooling it. Um, but we see that the compressor is working, and that's indicated by the um, the radiator cooling. So, so if your $250 Delani dehumidifier stops working, you might want to check the relay on the control board before getting rid of it.